Hello everyone, this is Amir from Audio Science Review. There were some requests to do some uh, tutorials and I thought I'd do a mini one to explain this concept of a decibel or dB. You've heard me use that term many times. Uh, you can go Google for it, but uh, I guarantee you, you're gonna be lost. Uh, I'm actually not gonna try to tell you exactly what it is. Uh, as far as the mathematical concept, you can just go ahead and, and Google for it. But uh, I'm going to tell you practically how I use it. And unfortunately, most people showing you measurements use it incorrectly. Um, and uh, as a result, it's very hard to interpret their measurements. So uh, with that, I also thought I'd show you my uh, control panel for my audio precision analyzer the box that's sitting over there. As you see, that has no display of its own. Uh, the user interface is what you're looking at over here. Um, I've configured the uh, machine to uh, output, uh, analog output, and then I've clicked uh, on this uh, loopback, meaning that its input is now connected to its output. So it's just measuring itself, <laughs> excuse me, instead of uh, trying to measure an external device, we're just analyzing the analyzer itself. Um, I've programmed it to output four volts, and we can see that it's measuring itself at 3.999 volts. So close enough. Uh, I've set it to one kilohertz. I'm using the analog generator. The analog generator has very low distortion, but uh, uh, its frequency is not very precise. So you can see that it's got this, uh, you know, way out there and it's one kilohertz, but you know, I don't know, eight, uh, 100 thousands of <laughs> kilohertz or whatever that comes out to be. Anyway, You've seen me talk about this, you know, sign ad and this decibel and uh, the analyzer right now is has a sign ad of about 122 dB. But if we look over here, uh, where we've taken the spectrum analysis, a uh, uh, spectrum, uh, extracted the spectrum from uh, this sine wave that's coming out. Um, if you look in here now, you sort of can't figure out what this graph means. The top of it is more or less the four volts. So that's four volts up here. But what on earth, you know, is down here? It says 100 nanovolts. I mean, that's a very hard concept to wrap your mind around. It's what's a nanovolt and what are we gonna do with a nanovolt? In general, when we're analyzing and measuring things, and at least class of devices that I'm measuring, we're not interested in actual voltages. We're interested in ratios. We wanna know if our signal is up here and our distortions is down here, what is that distance between the two of them? Because then we can use psychoacoustic research in telling us how audible that amplitude is relative to our main signal. So we're always interested in the ratio of these things not as an absolute voltage. I mean, there's, you know, if I raise both of them high, the ratio stays constant. That's what determines audibility. So here we don't have that. Uh, we don't know, you know, we could try to do the math in our head. And that's very difficult. So what we can do is convert this thing to, a, instead of volts, we can convert it to decibels relative to volts. It says dBV, hopefully you can read that. And, uh, this is basically saying everything I'm gonna show you on this graph now is relative as a ratio to one volt. And uh, so it's showing us a graph now that it's the numbers now for one thing look a lot more uh, uh, sane now. Um, and uh, because they're just normal numbers, we don't have nanovolts and, and what have you. and. Uh, we see that there's a minus 140 down here. And so if we look at this spike, we might be tempted to think that this is at minus 140 or thereabouts. Uh, turns out that's wrong. Why is that wrong? Because if we look up here, the peak of our signal is not at zero. It's actually at 11 or something like that. And if that's the case, then this is not 140 dB below that. It's uh, you gotta take that 11 and subtract it from this. So it's a very inconvenient unit to use, this dBV. There's a close cousin of it called dBU. Uh, it's just another ratio. And it's got the same problem, uh, but yet you see it used a lot in a lot of measurements uh, that people show. 
it's just a super confusing thing. It, again, you can go Google for these things and learn what DBU and DBV are mathematically. Just a simple formula, but it's just very hard to wrap your head around it. Even I can't keep it straight. And uh, what I do is that I avoid both of these things. I don't care how many volts we really have. As I explained, we want to know the ratio. So there's a clever thing the analyzer can do is where I can try to take an arbitrary voltage and make that the zero manually. And then we can see all the distortion and noise then fall under that. Now I've set it right now to dBRA, which is dB reference, and A has got two of them, A and B. Uh, but it's not programmed correctly because it's still the peak of this uh, output is above zero. But a clever thing I can do is go over here in references and I can set that reference to what is being measured, which is this 3.99 volts right now. Oh, sorry, you don't see the pop-ups over here. So just take my word for it that I'm setting the DBR reference to uh, uh, 4 volts. Now that I set that my reference to be this, the source signal, the wanted signal, now when we look down here, we can see exactly where the uh, uh, these peaks are. The numbers here now, 100% correspond to the uh, values that we want to know from psychoacoustics point of view. So this signal we can say is minus 148 dB. This means um, uh, the uh, peak that you see at 60 Hertz and there's a little distortion over here, minus 150 dB. I can actually mess this up by uh, the generator also has a DAC. And instead of using the uh, analog generator, he can use a DAC. So let me go ahead and reset this. So now the the digital generator it has is generating signal. Um, and you can see it has far more distortion um, like most DACs would. And here now we can read these so nicely now. We can see that this third harmonic is at minus 115 dB. And we look at down here, our sign at is minus 112. So that's actually pretty close. It's saying that this is basically the problem area. Add a little bit of noise to it, which is what this number is. Sign at is some of noise and distortion. And we get to 112. And you see the power of, uh, of using a, a, a log scale or ratio and also having it set to zero. When this is not set to zero, it just causes nothing but confusion. So. My advice to so anybody that publishes these measurements is please, please don't use DBA, DBV or um, DBU. Always use DB relative and then set that to be zero. Once we have a zero, we said we immediately know how low this amplitude is. Uh, I've explained that when these distortions are around minus 115 means they're absolutely inaudible. And we can see that's the case, even though this is the dirty generator in my audio precision, it still is, is noise is below audibility. Uh, so hopefully this concept's understood. Uh, again, you can go Google for it online and, and learn more, but uh, what we're trying to do is have a scale that's easy to understand and also be able to cover very high range of numbers. That's what a log scale lets, lets us do, and dB is a log scale in that it allows us to go way down deep to very, very small numbers, yet deal with you know small values like minus 150 rather than nanovolts and picovolts and, and go down way, way, way down to numbers that you can't just wrap your head around. Um, I've also mentioned this in the past that we can take any ratio, uh, THD plus N, which is harmonic distortion and noise, is a ratio, right? It's a percentage. It says, what is, if we add all these together on the noise, what is the ratio to this? You can express that as a percentage, but as you see here, it's very hard to remember this number, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, whatever it is. Whereas, you know, 112, hey, right, great, I can remember 112. That's a lot easier to remember. And uh, let me leave you with a hint uh, before I finish. Even though we say these things are decibels, don't ever call them decibels. Uh, always call them a dB. Now, if you look around, you'll see that the two are equivalent. The units we write as dB, but it stands for decibel. Um, when you say decibel, it can imply that you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whereas when you say dB, it sounds like you know a lot more than you do.
So whenever you're walking around and uh, talking to somebody else, technical, just throw the word DB around. And that person may think that you know a lot more than you do. But as you said, decibel is not something we as engineers usually um, spell out. So you want to look cool, use DB. Okay. See you in the next review, uh, next uh, video. Bye-bye.